Hi, I'm Cora Miller, Grio Corners Coordinator. Welcome to Mitchellville Freedom Park. Today, we are talking about food, food, food. Easy ways to make food, healthy food, where the food came from, and not only just this, but we're talking cultural food. So we've taken you through a few books, we've taken you through a few journeys of different lands, and so now I'm gonna take you through a little of the gardening that you heard about in another segment. And I'm gonna be reading to you, Hello World, Garden Time by Jill McDonald. Put on your gloves, grab your tools, we're going to garden. A garden is a place where you can grow fruit, vegetables, flowers, and herbs. You might have a garden at your house, in your neighborhood, or at school. The plants in a garden start as tiny seeds that are placed in soil. Once a seed is planted, it starts to grow. Soil helps nurture to the plants. Roots spread into the soil below and then a sprout pushes out of the earth. The seed has sprouts. Roots hold the plant in the ground and drink up water and minerals from the soil. Plants in the garden have different parts. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruit. The stem holds the plant up and carries water and minerals to the different parts. Leaves gather sunshine to make food for the plants. Down below, earth worms barrel in the dirt, loosening the soil. This helps the plants grow. Earthworms have small bristles all over their bodies to help them move. Buzz, fizz, up above. Bees, butterflies from up above. Bees and butterflies fly from flower to flower, spreading pollen. Pollen helps a plant to make seeds, which can become new plants. Sticky pollen from flowers cling on to another insect's body and it carries it to every plant it visits. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. A garden won't grow without water, so it needs a good drink every day. Garden plants love rain, but if it doesn't rain, you have to do the watering. You can use a watering can or bring water to the plants yourself. There is something new to see in a garden every day. Some plants grow quickly, others, eh, they take a little more time. If a person is a good gardener, we say they have a green thumb. Do you have a green thumb? If you don't have a yard, you can grow plants on your window ledge or on your balcony. Many towns and cities have community gardens where neighborhoods work together and share what is grown. When the fruit, vegetables, and herbs in the garden are grown and ripe, it's harvest time. Let's start picking. A harvest is when you pick and gather all that is grown. Now you can eat from the garden. What would you like to plant and grow? So think about some of the things that we talked about. Flowers, maybe you have some flower seeds. How about some mm, carrots? How about some tomatoes? There are so many different seeds that you can use and grow. So go out there, ask your parents to go and get you a little pack. And as we said, you don't need a yard. You can do it on a balcony. You can do it on a ledge. You can make a small garden with herbs. So again, I say here from Griot's Corner, let's go gardening. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.